everyone welcome back my name is Zayn and today we'll be having a look at the Polestar 2. Big news in the Polestar space because the Polestar 2 will get an updated Android Automotive 11. It's the third major Android version and this is big for Polestar of course because Polestar is using Android they do over the year updates. It's crucial to make sure that customers do have the best experience in any EV vehicle that is using the Android Automotive system. Now the first electric vehicle goes on sale with Android Automotive and they're getting another major update as Polestar 2 is rolling out its Android 11 update. Details on Polestar software updates page, P2.0 is now available for 2021 and 2022 models of the Polestar 2. The update delivers Android Automotive 11 for the Polestar 2, the car's third major Android version. The 2021 model year launched with Android 9 and was later updated to Android 10. What's new in Android Automotive 11 for Polestar 2? Polestar mentions new app categories and future functionalities for Android Automotive, but other improvements as well. Radio reception has apparently been improved and there is a fix for the interruption of GPS navigation when switching profiles on the car. Also improvements to the Polestar app with updates including real-time state of charge status and more control over climate settings. So this is quite good. It sounds like most of the updates is to do with the background information, the back end of the system. Not the visual aspects of the system, but instead everything that happens in the background. Everything from connectivity, stability improvements, to radio improvement, navigation system improvements, including state of charge, stability improvements, and real-time SOC status available during charging stability improvements for lock status and climate timers stability improvements and increase frequency of status updates naturally this isn't just a small update it's a new iteration of the version of android that runs on this vehicle so that's the main reason why we're speaking about it but here's what's even more interesting the polestar 2 latest ota updates include android r infotainment software Polestar announced that the latest over-the-air update software upgrade for Polestar 2 owners include Android R for the Android Automotive OS infotainment system. So we know so far that it brings enhanced app and functionality potential to the future. And most of this is rolling out in the early parts of April, which is right now when we're making this video. Now the interesting thing is that it also says that software enhancements are downloaded and installed remotely allowing Polestar to accelerate the integration of new functionalities, performance and personalization for the Polestar 2 owners. 10 major OTA releasing, totaling close to 100 improvements have been issued since launching remote update for the Polestar 2, representing an average of one major OTA release every seven weeks. So recent examples of enhancement delivered via OTA updates include drivetrain optimization, the ability to schedule preferred charging times, Polestar digital key improvements, an eco-climate mode to improve real-world changes, an eco-climate mode to improve real-world range and battery optimization with preconditioning amongst others. More than 90% of all Polestar 2 owners have installed the OTA update. A collection of infotainment features was launched for Polestar in 2021. Of these, the Vi Valadi browser, the video player, and a better route planner. As most popular with customers, with more than 12,000 downloads, each as of the end of March 2022. Now here's something really important that was said directly by Thomas Ingoloth, the CEO of Polestar, and I quote, Our approach to software technology in our car is that it should not be different from how the latest software is pushed out on smartphones and and computers in everyday life. With OTA updates, our customers receive constant enhancements and can choose when to install latest updates. Without making a trip to a workshop, we're very encouraged by positive response as seen from exponential growth in the number of OTA updates installations and will continue to deliver amongst ongoing enhancements. So this is obviously brilliant for Polestar because recently they announced a huge five years deal with Hertz, the rental car company who bought 100,000 Teslas last year from Tesla. Hertz and Polestar now announced a combined deal 
of 65,000 Polestar to be sold to Hertz over the next five years. These are not just Polestar 3, but they might include the Polestar 3 and the Polestar 4. But as for this year, Polestar will more than double their operations. They will double their vehicles that are built and sold from 29,000 last year to 69,000 this year. So obviously that'd be quite impressive to see. Now additionally, we have some more news on the Polestar front. Polestar Dennis Nobilius on the sustainable performance of brand's plan. Polestar Chief Operating Officer Dennis sees driving enjoyment and autonomous driving capabilities complementing one another in sustainable vehicles that keep driving and the driver front and center. NVIDIA's Katie Washberg spoke with Nobilius for the latest episode of AI Podcast about the role the performance brand will play as vehicles become greener and more autonomous. Nobilius touched on the sustainable automator's plan to unveil its third vehicle, the Polestar 3. The tech inside and the company's race and heritage brings the interception of smarts and sustainability. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching until the end. Remember to hit that subscribe button, leave a like. Feel free to share this video if you found it entertaining and, and leave a comment if you have any questions. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.